Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. This is Steve with Passive Total, uh, and we're going to walk through uh, one of our recent integrations for Passive Total, uh, and that's our Passive Total Splunk app. Uh, so, uh, as you might have seen recently, we've been pushing out a lot of integrations to Passive Total, uh, really trying to get our data into platforms that analysts use. And so, with Splunk, we think we've done a pretty good job of emulating the UI experience within the Splunk app. And so what you can see here is I have the Splunk app installed in my instance, uh, and we're in the Passive Total app, and you can see you get uh, kind of what you would expect from the normal uh, Passive Total UI. You log in, you see your, uh, you know, your ability to search uh, for an indicator, you see your history of lookups, uh, and so right away we could start an investigation and say, I want to look at uh, specific IOCs in association with, uh, with an investigation. So let's go with, uh, let's look at AUSAMeetings.com. You can see I've searched in history previously. Uh, and let's see what we provide back. And what you have here is a straightforward run through of what you would expect from Passive Total. We're bringing back a lot of data into the system to provide you and your analyst context about the IOC in question. And so you have high level information like our tagging, associations to malware, uh, open source intelligence with connection to Pondstorm activity via Trend Micro. You see the, the high level DNS records, there's 257 records associated with this domain, AUSAMeetings.com. Uh, but what you have here is also the matching events. Matching events shows you where this data matched in your Splunk log information. And so this is really the key component here. We're marrying your ability to do external investigations uh, against uh, IOCs with your internal data to make it a little more seamless uh, in how you interact with, uh, with passive total data and how you action incidents within your environment. And so we see we have two matching events. As we scroll through, we'll see the unique resolution information for the IP addresses that associate with this domain. We also see the full passive DNS table, first seen, last seen, resolution, source, uh, what you'd come to expect from passive total. And then here you have uh, the, the matching events where we see AUSA meetings in, uh, in an event in Splunk, uh, tying together, uh, like I said, that external investigation capability with your internal data. Uh, and we're pulling the last 250 matching events. In this case, there are only two, uh, and so that's why you're only seeing two records appear uh, in the event uh, table. Additionally, we're pulling ancillary information like who is information for the domain in question, uh, really bringing as much passive total data to your Splunk uh, interface as possible. So. That's a really straightforward look at how you can interact with Passive Total via uh, our app, uh, but there's also some other capability we've baked in that, I, that I'd love to highlight. Uh, and so let's go look at AUSA meeting in this event within a normal Splunk uh, search query. And so, you know, as an investigator or an incident responder, maybe you're digging through log data and looking at suspicious or interesting uh, logs that bubble up and you want additional context around them, but you probably don't want to have to pivot over to the Passive Total app to see that data. And so what we've done with our, uh, our integration with Splunk is we've brought our command line tools to the Splunk search bar. And so as you can see here, we're, uh, we're looking at an event in, uh, that, that associates with AUSA meetings, but you may not know what the context is around that. So maybe you want additional data. We can add in a pipe command uh, and start to do PT queries. So we can say PT PDNS query equals AUSA meetings.com. And when we run that query, what you'll see is we pop up a statistics tab that shows the resolution data in question for the domain you queried. And so you don't lose your place in events. You still have this events tab here, which saves the information you were looking at, and we provide you that, in, uh, that additional follow-on information within a statistics tab. And from here, you can start to look at all these different resolutions. We could click and start to look in uh, and continue our investigation on other uh, IP addresses. Uh, really powerful capability bringing passive total data right to a Splunk search uh, interface. Additionally, maybe you want to know enrichment data about this domain in question. So we can change our command that we're using. We can say PT enrich, uh, and this will provide us the passive total enrichment data within the statistics tab. And what you see here is those same tags that we saw in the app itself, malware, Pondstorm, trend micro. Uh, they appear here. We can see that there are, uh, there are three classifications for this. Uh, we see that it's not a dynamic uh, DNS domain. Uh, it hasn't been reported as compromised and quickly gives you that enrichment information that you would expect from Passive Total uh, right from a search command. 
And finally, we could say, let's look at the who is information for this domain. So PT who is query equals AUSAMeetings.com. We run that query. Uh, and again, we're pulling back the who is information for the domain in question into a statistics tab, uh, showing you all the pertinent information you would want as an investigator. Uh, so this kind of shows the power of the Passive Total Splunk app and the way we've integrated uh, with Splunk itself. Uh, we're really excited about this integration and think it brings a lot of great capability to our user base uh, and really are, are interested to hear feedback. So as you as you interact with this integration uh, and you think of new ideas that you want to that you think would be great inside uh, of our V2 Splunk app, please let us know at PassiveTotal.org. Uh, always happy to hear analyst feedback. Really appreciate your time today. Thanks.